Here's a little bit of a word of advice that I would give to somebody as just a general thing. Whatever the government shoves in your face, shoves down your throat, tells you to do, tells you to know, wants you to know, wants you to watch, all of that, take that and run away from it. Don't buy into it whatsoever. That's what they want you to do. All of the information that is hidden, filtered out, banned on social media, not allowed to talk about, misinformation, all of these things that you cannot find information on without digging and digging and digging, the things you have to dig for, run with that because that is the truth. And what they show you is indoctrination and lies. Understand that if the source is the government, it's a lie. Fact checkers, Netflix documentaries, all of these things don't buy into it. Remember, there's a reason why they push one narrative and hide another. I'm sorry. What is this? What is this? I'm sorry. If you think that took us to the moon, please go to therapy. If you tell me that this looks like anything other than a sixth grade science project, you're literally lying. There's no way you think this is actually real, right? This, first of all, has been taken into Photoshop, and if you change the levels, you'll see a box around the Earth, number one. it's This is Photoshopped in. They've proved that. You can prove that. And um, if this is possible, why don't they just set up a recording device on the moon and show the Earth's motion? So flat earthers stop talking. Oh, wait, it's because they lost the technology to go to the moon, and they destroyed it, and they can't go to the moon. But they have no problem going to Mars. That's literally almost 200 million miles away from Earth, and the moon is million, hundreds of millions of miles closer. People love to call me dumb, but let me show you what's actually dumb. Yeah, you believing that this is $38 million. Okay, these are lawn chairs? What is this? You can't believe this, actually, right? $38 million for this. Are you serious? I know, I know that there's actually nobody out there that actually believes this, right? Photoshop, and if those of you who think this technical difficulty was planned and think I'm scamming you, go do it for yourself. Because <laughs> you're going to find the exact same thing. i got nothing to hide. This is live on the air, okay? I'm going to zoom in on the Earth in Photoshop. You see the Earth? Go to image, adjust, levels, and I'm going to the levels over here. And I'm going to bring the levels up. Uh-oh, what is that? Why is there a square box around the Earth allegedly taken from the scientists on the moon in Apollo 17? And people wonder why I don't trust NASA. That's why I don't trust NASA. And I know you don't believe that they plugged a landline in and called the moon. I know you don't believe that. I know that you don't. I can't even use my iPhone when I'm driving in an area with no reception or a hospital, sometimes it just goes out when I'm literally at home or driving to work. It's really not that hard to fake. NASA is literally just a big Hollywood movie that adults believe. And for those of you that know the moon landing was fake but still believe everything else NASA says, why? Why? If you haven't watched the post interview to the moon landing, these three men are the most miserable, unhappy, guiltiest people I've ever seen in my life. The greatest human accomplishment of all time happened. This is how they act the entire time. And we somehow lost all of the evidence that we went there and all of the technology to go there again. I think it's time to start using our senses and look at what they're showing us, okay? Who turned the lights off on the moon? Where's the light? All right, I'm gonna say it one more time and then I'm gonna reference this video every time somebody says this to me. School, education is indoctrination. Stop telling me to go to school. Stop saying, didn't you pass middle school? Didn't you pass? The point, the point is that schools and everywhere education is teaching a narrative that they want you to believe to cover the history of the earth and the truth. They are covering it by teaching you a false narrative. School, education is indoctrination. Say it with me. Education is indoctrination. Stop, 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 stop telling me to go to school. Do you watch my videos? Do you watch my lives? That's the point. That is the point. Schools are teaching a lie. Schools are teaching a lie. What does that have to do with anything? What What are you? What point are you trying to make? That go to, go to school and memorize some bullshit narrative that they gave you? And then the more I memorize what they tell me, the, the smarter I am? Is that your definition of intelligence? 
Do you understand that schools are teaching pseudoscience as real science? Pseudoscience is literally fake science. It's accepting these beliefs that don't fit the description of science, the definition of science whatsoever, and they tell you that it's science. So then you come on my page and you're like, don't you know science? Yes, I do know science. Science is to observe and to study and to experiment and repeat in order to deem true. And pseudoscience doesn't do that. The globe doesn't do that. All of these things doesn't do that. You're a hypocrite. Why is it so hard for you to believe that the government writes a narrative and teaches it in schools? Why is it so hard for you to believe? It's totally believable. It's totally what they do. What do you think television is? Tell a lie. Tell a lie. Tell lie vision. What do you think that they're doing? Do you think that they're teaching you the truth so, so they make all this money on the truth? Or do you think they're teaching you a narrative that they wrote to make money and to benefit and to control the masses? Do you think the government doesn't lie and control? Do you? Is your advice to children, don't ever critically think and don't ever ask any questions and don't question your reality. Do what you're told and listen to authority because authority is always right and you're wrong and you need to memorize everything they say and everything they say is true. Is that your, is that your advice to children? Because that's what you tell me to do. And guess what? You can call me crazy all day long. I'd rather be crazy than an actual conforming indoctrinated sheep. Okay, I'd rather be crazy. So call me crazy. That's fine. I don't care. I actually think you're crazy for believing this absolute bullshit. And understand that the only reason the only reason why anyone believes the globe and the only reason we believe these things we were taught in school the only reason we believe this and we defend it is because we were told it's because we were told we have no evidence we have no proof it's because it's what we were told do you really just not question anything ever and just suck up everything that they tell you or like yeah i just repeat what they say are you kidding me don't you think there's a reason why there's things that are filtered out and that there's things that are totally in your shoved in your face all day long and congratulations and kudos to you that the only reason that this this huge lie is still going on and will always go on is because you're defending it and by the way denying reality does not change reality Why Don't they turn to the moon and to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not uh, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and and that's the way it happened. And And if it didn't happen... It's nice to know why it didn't happen. So in the future, if we want to keep doing something, we need to know why something stopped in the past that we wanted to keep it going. Uh, money is a good thing. If you want to buy new things, new rockets, Instead of keep doing the same thing over, well, then it's going to cost more money. And other things need more money, too. If a literal astronaut that has been to the moon is admitting that he didn't go and they never went, is not enough for you? Check out their interview after they went to the moon and how guilty these three men are. Check out some hidden in plain sight Masonic symbolism. Weird how the moon's just not a light anymore. What happened to the lights? And if the moon was really a surface reflecting light, it would look like this. That's what a ball reflecting light looks like, not the moon. That is literally a luminary, not a surface. They didn't go to the moon because you can't, because it's not a surface. Which is why the higher you go up, the less visible it is. The higher you go up, closer to it, the less visible it is. Think about that. Not to mention that we can't go to the moon again because we lost or destroyed the technology to do so, is what NASA tells us. But we have no problem going to Mars, which is 200 million miles away from Earth, when the moon is only 200,000 miles away from Earth. That's like me saying, if I'm in Florida, that I can't go to Miami because it's too far, but I can go to California. To shut us stupid flat earthers up, all they would have to do is set up a recording device on the moon and record Earth's rotation and the shape that it's actually evolved. But they won't. But they won't. Why? Why won't they? Here's a fake image just to show you a visual of what they tell us. So Earth, Moon, Mars. Look how much closer the Moon is to Earth than Mars. This is 200 million miles away, 200,000 miles away. They can set up a recording device on Mars. They can do anything on Mars, but they can't do it on the Moon. It's time to wake up, people. 
Something I've been noticing a lot, why is snake symbolism literally in everything? The universal medical symbol is two snakes. Here's the UN logo with the medical logo. Here's the flat earth map with the snake. My favorite, NASA's logo, big serpent tongue right there. And this thing looks like a snake as well. Literally, like a snake with its tongue. <laughs> That's literally a snake tongue. Here's the Holy Vatican and the altar. It's literally a snake. Eyes, teeth, big head. I, this is literally a snake. I don't know how anyone unsees this. And then the Jesus statue, which is like, are you kidding me? Does this look pure, innocent, or holy in any way? This is terrifying. I don't know who designed this, but that's scary. Vatican City is a ginormous snake. The eyes, the body. And don't forget the 666 symbolism all over the place. The Washington Monument. This was on purpose. Symbolism everywhere. I've decided to make a new series of stupid comments, ignorant comments that I get, and I'm gonna do a million parts of this. This is part one, addressing dumb comments and why they make no sense. Just insults from Globers makes no sense to what I'm saying whatsoever. So here's part one. Saying anything along the lines of, stay in school kids, what's your degree? Where'd you go to school so I don't send my kids there? All of these comments about school and education is exactly the opposite of what I'm saying. I am saying that school education is indoctrination because they are teaching this lie all around the world. So saying to me, stay in school or where'd you go to school or what's your degree? contradicts exactly what i'm saying like do you not understand anything that i'm saying at all school is teaching a lie so if you're in school learning about that you're learning about the lie you're not learning about the hidden knowledge that they're hiding and the truth of our world that they're hiding they're not teaching that in school that's why school and degrees and all of that stuff when it has to do with this subject is irrelevant because that is not the truth. It's not the truth. It is a planned, orchestrated narrative that they are indoctrinating children on and all throughout your life you're going to believe this lie unless you look otherwise for other information, other research. And when you look for those things, you will find it and you will understand that what they teach is a lie. It makes no sense. Everything that we've learned is a lie. Everything that we know is a lie. So sure, stay in school, get educated, get a degree, whatever, on this lie, okay? That's what you're doing. That's what it is. That's what it is. Nobody wants to admit it. Nobody wants, everyone's in denial. No one wants to understand reality because they are so attached to this belief that they've had. And the only reason they have this belief is because it's what they were told. It's what they were told. Not, there's no proof. It's just because you were told that. So when you seek proof and evidence, you will find that that narrative makes no sense. No sense. So I was doing a lot of thinking and uh, I wanted to say, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. You're right. We're definitely on a spinning ball going half a million miles per hour through space. You're right. I don't know what I was thinking looking at the flat level horizon and how water is flat and level. I, I don't know what I was thinking. It was really dumb. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking observing the sky and how the stars come back once a year in the same fixed position, yet we're moving half a million miles through space, which makes total sense, like why the stars would come back and Polaris that never moves, but we're flying half a million miles through space. Yeah, no. It's really dumb of me to think that we're just stationary and flat. I, I really, I'm sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. I totally don't know what, what I was thinking, questioning what we were taught, because obviously what we're taught by authority is always true. I don't know why I would ever question that. And I don't know why I would ever question why compasses only point north, since there's two magnetic fields, the North and South Pole. I don't know why I would ever question that. I don't know why I would ever apply reality to what we're taught and see if it adds up. Well, I don't know why I would do that. That was so dumb of me. I know that the government has our best interests and that they're totally telling us all of the truth and that they don't run the school systems and they don't run what we're taught or anything like that. They don't have some kind of 
system where they teach you what they want you to know. I know that that's not true. I know the news is all real statistics and everything that they tell us is all reality and all true. I know. I don't know why I would ever question that. It's not like they would ever make something up to deceive us into not knowing the truth to benefit with money and control. I was just thinking how stupid it was of me to assume that water needs a container and water is always flat and level. It's not used to level things out or anything like that. Yeah, who needs a container for water? We have gravity. I mean, who needs it? Who needs it? That was stupid. I really don't know why I ever questioned the moon landing. It's so obvious that we went there and we're obviously not going back because it's just too expensive. 60 million a day just isn't enough to cover it. And we're not gonna go back because we've already been there and there's there's nothing to see. So why would we go back? It's not like we should prove that the Earth's spinning or anything. Prove the motion of the Earth, maybe? No, why would we do that? That'd be so stupid. Welcome to part two of Why the Lie. This whole thing is about looking deeper than the surface and looking deeper to what they tell you. We all learn the same thing. I learned the same thing as you learned. The difference is looking deeper than what we were told and what we were taught. There is a big reason why certain things are shoved down your throat and thrown in your face and hidden in plain sight constantly, propaganda everywhere. They're telling you to do something over and over and over again. They want you to see this. They want you to watch this. They, they only show you what they want you to know and what they want you to see and what they want you to think. And there's also a big, big, big reason why certain things are filtered off the internet and they don't want you to see and they don't want you to know about and they take information of things and they hide it from you. There's a reason why certain things are in your face and certain things are super hidden. There's a big reason why that is. I said it once, I've said it twice, and I'll say it again. Anything the government tells you to do, run. Anything that they are hiding from you is the actual truth. If they're hiding what the world that you're standing on is, how far do you think these lies can go? They discontinued the Nikon P1000 because they realized what people were doing with it. I'm going to make a separate video for this, but you can zoom in very closely on the planets and see what they really are. And the planets that they say are surfaces, you can see for yourself that they are not surface rocks whatsoever you can observe for yourself the truth and you are believing these evil evil people's lies over your own eyes by the way the nikon p1000 was their number one best-selling camera and they took it completely off the market and discontinued it why do you think that is i can't convince you and i honestly don't want to what i urge you to do is look into it for yourself because there's not a single person that's going to look this deep and not see the truth I don't want you to believe them and I don't want you to believe me. I want you to look deep into it because you cannot unsee once you see. Don't you think it's really messed up that they have people that preach the Bible and study the Bible going with the heliocentric model? They literally still believe in this globe spinning in infinite space when the Bible says completely otherwise. And I can't even tell you the amount of people in my comments that are arguing the Bible and what it says. It's so clear what it says. And God and religion are not the same thing. And so many people are steered away from God because religion did that to them, because religion is a cult. I was raised Catholic. Almost all my Catholic friends are atheists. And there's a reason for that. Catholic faith is very culty. They literally go against the Bible in their own schools and churches. The reason that I believe in the Bible, by the way, is because of the science behind flat earth and the actual proof we have of flat earth. And it literally proves the Bible to be true. Science and God go hand in hand. Pseudoscience and God are pinned against each other and they fight each other. Pseudoscience is not real science and that is all we're taught. And I can keep going. What do you really think she's talking about when she says this? And pay attention to the comments. I, I know, I know we have still not shattered that highest and hardest glass ceiling, but someday someone will, and hopefully sooner than we might think right now. Although we weren't able to shatter that highest, hardest glass ceiling this time, thanks to you, it's got about 18 million cracks in it. And the light is shining like never before, filling us all with the hope and the sure knowledge that the path will be a little easier next time. And I can't believe we just put the biggest crack in that glass ceiling yet. Thanks to you and to everyone who's fought so hard to make this possible. This is really your victory. This is really your night. 
And if there are any little girls out there who stayed up late to watch, let me just say, I may become the first woman president. It is right in front of your face. Please wake up. This is not being taken out of context. She is talking about the firmament and breaking the firmament. You think that these people in positions of power are good and they're doing great things and that they're your savior. No, they're doing horrible, evil things. They're trying to break the firmament. She has said it so many times. You're going to say they're she's taking it out of context, not taking it out of context. You need to understand what they're really talking about. Elon Musk trying to break the firmament with his rockets. It'll literally have water in the sky. He was trying to break it, putting these cracks in it. Do you know what would happen if they actually break this firmament? I don't think you even want to know. And when she says, thanks to you, this wouldn't be possible without you, thanks to you, yeah, she's not kidding. Thanks to you for defending their lie and applauding them and going to these big ceremonies and applauding their satanic evil work. Thanks to you. These people are evil. She starts talking about little girls. I wouldn't let my little girl, if I had one, anywhere near this woman. She is evil. You don't have any idea what they do, and I'm not going to say it on this video. The things that they do are unfathomable, and they're not believable because you don't believe it because it's that evil. And these are the people that are breaking the firmament. People in positions of power have literally said, we tell you what we're doing and you still don't believe it and that's your problem. That's so true. You don't believe what they're doing when they literally tell you what they're doing and that's your problem. And it's actually our problem too because how are we gonna ever stop this if you're gonna continue to defend it? I said it once and I'll say it again. These people are anti-God. They are evil, evil, evil people. They are making fun of you for believing their lie. They know the truth. They know what the earth is. They know the firmament. They are making fun of you for believing everything that they tell you. And then when they tell you that they're doing something evil, you're, you don't believe it. You think it's some kind of joke. Wake up. If you think this place is holy, think again. Let's start by examining their altar. Oh, nice snake head they got going on there and a really nice statue of Jesus. Love it. Let's get a closer look really quick. So you're telling me this is a pure, holy, innocent statue of Jesus. Yeah, okay. And I don't know if you've noticed, but the entire Vatican City is literally shaped like a whole snake. Here's the stomach, here's the head, the eyes. It's an entire serpent. And now I'm going to play for you a cute little prayer that he says to everybody. With great pomp, fanfare, and ceremony, Pope Francis, the head of the Jesuit order, announced through his cantor the eminent emergence, the near advent of the coming to light of the Antichrist. Christus filius tuus, qui regressus ab inferis, humano generis serenus iluxit, et te convivit et regnat in saecula saeculorum. During this pronouncement, the cantor called Lucifer God, claiming Lucifer to be the father of Jesus Christ. The cantor acknowledged Lucifer as the Antichrist himself and worshipped him. To this, a great crowd and the whole world sang. This was the 3D ceremony that the Pope wanted to be seen worldwide. The announcement to the world, the son of perdition, this way comes. This isn't even half of it, but this is why it's so important to not be deceived. Our leaders, our religious leaders, our political leaders, they're all evil and they all play for the same team. There is symbolism everywhere and as you can see, they hide it in plain sight right in your face. Hey guys, look who's featured on Dave Weiss's FE app. 
His app is awesome and has so many good videos on it, so many good book recommendations. This video, someone made a compilation of all my TikToks and put it together. The comments on there are so nice. Um, thank you, Dave. Really appreciate it. Hope I get to talk to you sometime soon. And thanks for the support, guys. Follow my backup account, Jenny Rose Page 13. Follow my Instagram. And yeah, keep doing flat earth with me. Earth is flat, it's fat, flat the earth. NASA lies, NASA is the devil in disguise. Hey guys, so about that backup account. Remember yesterday when I told everyone to follow my backup account that I finally made? Well, I woke up today and it's gone. So I made a new backup account. Hopefully this one doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to put it in the description. I'm going to put it in the video. I'm going to put it in the comments. Please follow it. I'd like to get it to a thousand as soon as possible so I can do lives on there. Since my lives and my TikTok on this account has been severely shadow banned. Again, thank you for the support. Thank you for the nice comments. Please follow my account and keep rocking with me.